you won't believe how many calories are in that McDonald's breakfast you're having. Hi guys, I'm Yi and this is The Run List. Since chain restaurants are busy posting the calorie values for items on their menus, the folks over at Wall Street Journal's Market Watch made a list of the highest calorie items at 10 fast food chains. For the original report, click the link in the description box below. Want to watch a video instead? Well, we here at The Run List will do a countdown to the fattiest fast food item for you. Some are expected, while others are pretty surprising. Number 10. Subway's Mega Melt on Flatbread with Egg. 670 calories. Subway prides itself on providing healthy sandwiches and being a healthy fast food option, and to be fair, the average 6-inch sub with meat ranged from 290 to 320 calories. However, the chain sometimes still comes up with items loaded with calories, such as this one. It's pretty big though, so if you split it in half and eat it as two separate meals, it's still not bad. Number 9. Dunkin' Donuts Frozen Mocha Coffee Colada with Cream. 730 calories. Gosh, these liquid calories really get to you. Each of these coffee drinks has about 35.5 teaspoons of sugar in it. Think about it, that's only a drink and not including the food that you might decide to go with it. One chocolate coconut cake donut is 550 calories and has heaps more sugar and come on, no one has just one donut. Number 8. Pizza Hut's 14-inch Large Meat Lover's Pan Pizza, 376 calories per slice. You might think 376 calories really isn't that bad, but in reality, most of us usually have two slices or more, and two slices of this pie will be 940 calories. And if you have the entire pie in one sitting, which I hope not, that's a whopping 3,760 calories. Number 7. Taco Bell's Volcanic Nachos, 970 calories. These cheese, chili, and jalapeno topped nachos are nearly half of your suggested calorie intake. Since nachos are usually an appetizer and shared, the calorie load could be divided, and judging by the amount of calories, it should be. Number 6. Panera Bread Steak and White Cheddar on a French Baguette. 980 calories. Honestly, I didn't see this one coming. I frequently eat at Panera because the soup and salad image comes off as pretty healthy, but I guess not all items are. The full size of the steak and white cheddar is sneakily loaded with calories, so you might want to choose the apple instead of the packet of chips as the sides. Number 5. Wendy's Dave's Hot Juicy Triple Patty with Cheese. 1120 calories. Good old Wendy's. The fattiest item on the standard Wendy's menu has six times more calories from fat than our recommended daily intake. Still, this doesn't compare with the Wendy's discontinued T-Rex burger, which had nine patties and 3,000 calories. Number four, KFC's 10-piece bag of original recipe chicken bites. 1,300 calories. Small, but deadly. Chicken bites are not that big, and you might accidentally eat the whole thing without even feeling like you've consumed so many calories. Number three, McDonald's Big Breakfast with syrup and margarine. 1,350 calories. It's not a Big Mac, and it's not even fried. The breakfast looks relatively healthy, just pancakes, sausage, and eggs. Oh, but also don't forget the biscuit and the hash browns. Just the syrup and the margarine add up to 260 calories. Number two, Burger King's Ultimate Breakfast Platter. 1,450 calories. This is pretty much exactly the same thing as the McDonald's one, just more. And finally, number one, White Castle's 20 chicken rings, 1,760 calories. Like KFC's chicken bites, they look small and harmless, but they can really stack up. One ring is 88 calories, so keep that in mind when you decide to order a box. Gee, I feel like I need to go for a run just talking about all this high-calorie food. So what are some of the really fatty and high-calorie foods that you've eaten? Also, did you change the way you eat and order food at chain restaurants now that they're required to post calorie values? Let us know in the comment section below. As always, please like and subscribe if you like this video. Thank you for watching.